Just before the audio starts, I wanted to let you know that I have a Patreon, and we linked in the description. It's tons of paid member exclusive audios on there, and now, a Discord. So if that interests you, check it out. But, of course, if it's not your thing, don't worry about it. And now, without further ado, enjoy the audio. Wait, 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 okay, okay. Alright, let's see. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, 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 no. Okay. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Okay. 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 Fitness hands now. Ooh, We're fine. You only did like 112 damage. No. 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 Frick. No. Wait. No. 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 Oh. God. Ah. Dang it. That was terrible. In my defense, they make Skeletron really hard in Legendary mode. Like, Master Mode Skeletron, difficult, sure, right? Legendary mode, good god. <laughs> like, it's, okay, first off, it's it's hard to even play Legendary mode. Because you gotta know the secret seed for the worthy. And then you gotta freaking play in Master Mode for, like, the proper Legendary mode experience. And like, good god, like, <laughs> he has more health, he does more damage, and like, man, when you take out his hands, he spawns little skeleton guys that shoot like water bolts at you. And it's, there's so many things to consider, and it's like, it's really cool, honestly. I think it's really cool, because like, you know, like, you know, I, I love Terraria, I do, and I love their bosses. But I always thought, like, even in expert mode, the bosses were pretty easy. Nothing was, like, super changed. You know what I'm saying? But in this, in legendary mode, like, they, they changed up a lot of the AI of the bosses, which is really cool. Like, um, I mean, King Slime was just bigger, which, you know. I mean, I, I fought him when I had, like, 100 health, and he killed me a few times. Mainly because he one-shot me because he did so much damage, but he killed me a few times. It took me a second. Then I Cthulhu, like, in his second phase, he had a, a moment where he spawned, like, a bunch more of the eyes, right? His little eye minions, because usually in his second phase, he never spawns them. That's a really cool addition. Like, there were so many of them, and it, it just made me, like, have to consider so much more, you know? And then Brainy Cthulhu. Brainy Cthulhu was really cool, because, like, A, you know, uh, I think the creepers moved a lot faster, like, going at you, right? But once you got rid of all of his creepers... He inverted gravity, which I didn't expect. So I was like, oh, what the frick is happening? And then he just did it, and then I fell upwards and did it, and, like, he despawned, so I fell back down and just died. So I had to build, like, not a platform, just, like, a solid thing of wooden blocks above me, and just, like, I couldn't use platforms either because I was upside down. It, oh, it's just such, it's, it's a really cool, like, inversion, you know? And it makes the bosses really difficult, like, in a fun way, actually. Like, none of them are frustrating. They're just, like... Okay, well, maybe Queen Bee's a little frustrating, because you have to have insane reaction time to tell when she's about to, like, do her little charge thing. And if you take, like, much damage from her little charge thing, you you, have, you don't have much, much, yeah. <laughs> what? I love Terraria. It's very fun. It's very enjoyable. You've got to play with me. Please, I'm begging you. I am begging you. We need to play Terraria sometime. I am... Please, I love this game so You like Minecraft? You like Minecraft? I know you would love Terraria. Terraria is better than Minecraft. Yeah, I said it. I freaking said it. And I'm standing by it. Terraria? Better game than Minecraft. It's a lot more fidgety with the building. You could build, like, bar stools. You could build toilets. Yeah, that's a thing in this game. There's so many decorations you can build. There's so many... There's a lot more, like, cool building blocks you can make. And each of them have, like, their own type of lamp and, like, accessories you can build. Like, there's... It's so much more fidgety. And, like, you, I just feel like you can get a lot more, like... You know, there's a lot of, like, illegal building techniques in Minecraft because it's very limited, right? But not Terraria. Terraria, like, lets you do whatever the fuck you want. I just feel like there's a lot more better progression in Terraria, you know? With Minecraft, it's just like, you want to quote-unquote beat the game. You gotta, uh, you gotta just gear up, go to the, go to the nether, get to the nether fortress, get some, uh, 
Blaze Rods, that's what they're called. Get some Blaze Rods, come back, kill some Enderman, get some Eyes of Ender, go to the end, kill the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon, no matter what difficulty you're in, is the easiest thing in the frickin' world. He's so easy every time. You just gotta take proper precautions, and he, he, you won't die. You could defeat the guy with Iron Armor, which is weird, because now, like... You go to the nether with, like, just iron armor, you're gonna get annihilated with all, like, the piglins and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird, because, like, they made getting to the ender dragon harder than actually fighting the ender dragon, which is stupid. <laughs> yes, I have my critiques about Minecraft. I like it. It's a good game. It's fun to come back to every now and again. But I just like Terraria so much more. It's so much more fun. And, like... Yes, I know it says on my Switch that I play Minecraft more than I play Terraria, but that doesn't count my time on my PC. On my PC, with modded Terraria, I've played like 900 hours. Oh yeah, it's that much fun. I love it. It's so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> yes, I know. I know I'm cute when I rant. <laughs> I know I'm very cute when I rant. Can we cuddle? Yeah, I want to cuddle. Mm -hmm. I want to cuddle my cutie. Alright, let's tuck in. There you go. Hi, my cutie. <laughs> I gotta say, I know we've cuddled a lot already, but this is probably one of my favorite activities that we do. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Freaking love it. It's just like, you know, it gives you such a warm feeling in your chest, and it's just... Hmm. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yes, I'm a dork, I know. <laughs> but I'm a dork for you, baby. You make me a dork. Okay, yes, I'd be a dork without you, but still. <laughs> That's not the point. Shush. <clears throat> Is my baby comfy? Be comfy with your man boobs. Those pillows. You like your pillows? Yeah, I could pop them for you. <laughs> I know, I know that kind of renders the pillowness a bit not good. <laughs> I didn't know how to phrase that. You know what I mean? Uh, they don't work quite as well as pillows when you know I'm popping them. Kind of makes your head jolt up a little bit. <clears throat> you can do that, my baby wants. I love you so much. <laughs> hmm? Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. You okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Yeah, we, we can talk. Uh, what, what about... Oh. Um, yeah, sure. We can, uh, have a discussion about our, um, inevitable first time. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm totally fine talking about this. Yeah, that's, that's cool with me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, no jokes, I'm... I understand this is a, a very serious thing. Okay. Wait, what? No. No. Are you serious? No, I don't believe you. <laughs> Look, I, I know what I just said, but like... Really? I... That is... That is mind-blowing. You're... You're really a virgin. You're kidding. Really? How, how does that... I'm, I'm just blown away. 
I, I'm, I'm really just blown away. I don't know what else to say. I'm blown away. <laughs> I, well, well, it's, it's just surprising, like, well, baby, you know how attractive I think you are. And I figured, like, some guy was probably going to be like, hey, baby, and, like, woo you enough to get to that point at least, but... Okay. Okay, you know what? I really respect that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, saving yourself for until you meet the right guy. I 100% respect that, yeah. You know, I don't... I don't think virginity is, like, something that you should want to, like, get rid of as fast as possible. Like, so many people are like, get, get it out of me! I, I, I hate it. I hate that I'm a virgin. Like, no. I, I was a virgin for a while, too. Yeah, because I just, I hadn't found anyone to, like, you know, anyone I wanted to have sex with. And that's fine. That's, that's totally okay. Yeah, like, it, it shouldn't be, like, you know, I don't think in any relationship, like, sex should be the first thing you jump to. That's 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 mistake number one in my mind, you know, because it, it it can just lead to like a lot of misconceptions about your partner, and you know that that could be like a foundation of why you guys are together, and it never should be. It should be a bonus, you know what I mean? At least that's how I think about it. Like it should never you should never be with someone just for the sex, right? So, in my mind, like you need like a minimum a month or two with this person without, like, intercourse. So you can really figure out, like, okay, if we couldn't have sex, could we survive? And if it's a really strong relationship, then sure, go for it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's all I've, that's all I've always thought about sex. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that, that made you, like, feel more comfortable about talking about this, right? So, what did you think I thought about sex? Did you think I was just, like, a fiend? Like, you, me, bedroom, right now, let's get it on. <laughs> did you think I would just, like, do, like... <laughs> well, yeah, I know we've talked about my history with all that a little bit. And, you know, I, I have some experience, you know, but... No, I, I'm... I always wait... Like, that's just a, a policy of mine, you know? Like, yeah, every now and again, it's like, you know, we have to take a step back and be like, whoa, we, we almost, like, you know, we almost slipped into it. But, you know, I, I want to wait. I want to give it a minute. You know what I mean? And they're always like, oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Right. Back on topic about the first time. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be super honest with you. Um, I've actually never been with a girl who's a virgin. So, yeah, this will be a new experience for me, too. I... Okay, hey, look at me. Look at me. I want to establish this right out the gate. If you feel the slightest bit uncomfortable or unsafe in any situation, not just sex-wise, but, you know, especially there... Do not be afraid to tell me, okay? I respect you, and I love you. And if anything makes you uncomfortable, or like I'm, I'm pushing a boundary a bit too much, or whatever have you, tell me, okay? And I will listen to you, I promise. I will listen to you, and I will drop whatever it is immediately. We can talk about it and be like, uh, I just need, you know, you to ease up on this certain thing. Whatever. I promise I will listen to you. And if it's something that you just do not like or not okay with, I'm dropping it immediately. No questions asked. Yeah, of course. Maybe I respect boundaries above almost everything else. Because I love you. You're my girlfriend. And I want you to be happy and feel safe with me. And if I'm doing something that's actively hindering that, I need you to tell me. Okay? Because I want to fix it. I want to be a perfect man for you. And I know that's impossible, so I'm, you know, trying to be the next best thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
guess you could have a hug. Come here. <laughs> that old spiel make you feel loved. <laughs> All right. Now let's talk about the actual first time. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> you want pointers? <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's not. It's I'm not making fun of you. I promise. I'm not making fun of you. It's just it's just funny how you phrased it. I want pointers. I've just I know what you mean but <laughs> okay let's establish this too the first time is never something you need to worry about okay it's it should always be like kind of a like never I, I learned this by talking to a lot of women before my first time too it's good to just keep it light right you don't you shouldn't like go in like high sexual energy trying to turn each other on to the most maximum degree like no like it's okay to laugh and like joke around well like before and even during you know because like you know it keeps light the mood light and like you know doesn't put any pressure on each other because you know it's the first time you two are together and you know there's no <laughs> it shouldn't be pressurized you know trying to force something good if when it's your first time, you know, like obviously I've I've gone into like first times with with a person, um, and we we didn't do that. We just kind of like you know kept it hot and heavy. <laughs> it, it feels weird phrasing that, but phrasing it like that. But you know that's that's what happened. Uh, you know, straight in like you know with a lot of sexual energy, but you know, like if I could go back, I I would have liked to keep it keep it a bit jokey you know what i mean like very light so there's not much pressure yeah yeah there's nothing wrong with that and of course you know since i now know you're a virgin we will take it as slow as you are comfortable with oh yeah it can be as slow as you need it to be we can be as gentle and as slow as possible okay oh yeah there's nothing wrong with that not a thing I promise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. I've never been with a girl that's a virgin, but like I know for the first time for a girl, you know, the hymen's a thing, so you're gonna have to worry about breaking that, and I'm sure that's not gonna be, feel good for a minute. <laughs> and, you know, whatever you need. It's whatever you need. We'll, we'll get a bunch of like stuff ready like you know towels just in case like a mess is made for whatever reason you know oh yeah I'm, I'm, I'm prepared I'm ready to be prepared oh yeah <laughs> and you know whatever you need whatever you need okay alright anything else you want to you know, discuss about this, or... Maybe... You don't have to worry about being bad your first time. Quote-unquote, bad. I love you. I love you so much. You are wonderful. You are so wonderful. There's a reason I've been with you for so long been like close to half a year now I love you we're together for a reason I'm not just in this for the sex I've told you this I don't care if you're you know quote unquote not adequate I, I'm sure you will be because that's more of a thing for guys to worry about I think I mean yeah because <laughs> like you know it's kind of a universal standard that it's Harder to, for girls to reach climax than guys, which is kind of true. So, yeah, I, sweetie, don't worry about it, because you know what? It will be the first time, but it won't be the last. So we will grow. We will come to understand each other, what we want, what we don't want, what we're into. 
and it'll become a beautiful thing, and eventually it will be at the point where we can just consistently have mind-blowing schmecks, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> yeah, I know it does. <clears throat> and I'm fine with waiting for as long as it takes to get there. I don't care because I'm still with the woman of my dreams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby, I love you. I love you so much. You mean the world to me. So, you know, if the first time, quote-unquote, isn't adequate, which I know it will be, you do not worry about it, okay? Please don't. No matter what, I will still love you afterwards. Nothing will change. We will take it as slow and as gentle as you need it to be, okay? <laughs> Alright. Well, if you don't mind, cuddling with such an immense amount of cuteness is really making me tired. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, A, you're cute. Like, on a basis level. And B, you, like... I don't know, you asking about all this just... Somehow, like, made you even cuter, in a way. If that makes sense. I don't know, it's, it's like a level of innocence, and I just... You're, like, super adorable as a basis, but, like, now you're, like, even more adorable. Mm-hmm. And I love how adorable you are. Yes, I love you.